Hey everybody, this is Wes with Fundamental Games and today we're going to be showing you how to play a game of Dominions using a deck of dice playing with solo. Now you'll learn exactly how to play the game multiplayer or two player by playing solo as well so just thought I'd share this with you. Now I am using my original prototype card so apologize for the very basic white background uh, but the deck of dice is still professionally made as you can see some nice cards there and we're just going to go through a game so how do you play first off you have to set up dicey dicey is your artificial intelligent com opponent and what you're going to do is you're going to lay out dicey's cards in a row of six just like so i'll try to make sure i get them all on the screen for you here so you can see what's happening there you go dicey's cards are all laid out and then i'm going to do the same thing with my cards so i will Take my exact same cards and I'll put them in a row as well. Let's see if we can get them all on the screen here. A little bit tougher with the reduced angle that I have, but I want to make sure you can see all the cards. So there we go, all six of mine. Now I put them in sequence of die type. So die type is the dice value on the top left of the card. Uh, and then what you would do is you would take the deck of dice, which you're going to be sharing, and you'll shuffle it up and set it in the center of the table. What happens here is a little bit different than single or two player. In two player, you would each choose, um, you'd have your cards hidden in your hand and you would select your die type and put it face down on the table. In solo, when you're playing against Dicey, it's a little bit different. Before Dicey determines what die they're going to be using, you have to first select what you're going to use. So let's say I want to use 12. So I'll put 12 up like that and that'll indicate that I'm going to be fighting with 12 no matter what happens with Dicey. Now Dicey is going to reveal the top card of the deck and whatever die value has the highest number with the lowest die type would go first. So in this case a 19, the, obviously the highest number by far, so they are going to be Twent which is the die value of that. Twent can only be used once in the first six rounds and once in the second six rounds. So what we're going to do is put that over on Twent and now Twent um, is a higher die type than 12, which means Twent will be going first. The highest die type always goes first. So Twent um, would go first. They've already drawn their card. That's part of their step. So then I would draw my card. My card is played with 12. And then we would compare our stats since I don't have any abilities to use and neither do they with that particular card. So if we take a look, Twent has a 19. I have a 9 under the d12 and I get to subtract the d4 value from my opponent which would bring him down to 18. Which means Twent still beats me by far, so Twent acquires these two deck of dice cards into their victory pile, which I'll just set up here out of sight there. So those two have been used and then we'll move on to round 2. In round 2 I'm going to choose my own Twent um, and then reveal the top card, whatever the highest die type is that has not already been used or die value, so we have an 8 under d8, that is what they're going to use, so they are going to be picking Diante the Great. Now Diante the Great, when you're playing with um, Dicey, will always look at the second card, and you'll always pick the highest card and shuffle the other card back in. So even though we knew he had the highest value at an 8, uh, we still have to follow the solo rules. So Diante has their card, and then I'm going to be drawing my card. And so, oh, I haven't picked my card yet. Oh yeah, I picked Twent. So I put this over here on Twent. Now I've only drawn a 5 on my d20. That's a terrible number for a d20, but that's what happens when you roll the dice. Um, whereas Diante has an 8, so Diante has taken me down yet again. They collect both cards. Alright, on to round 3. I will choose to play with Spartan this time. So I'll put Spartan up and reveal the top card. So 17, 5, 7, looks like my opponent, Dicey, is going to be Spartan as well. So when Spartan is going against Spartan, Spartan's special ability says if you attack first, you your opponent gets the result of the next lowest die value instead of their die value to a minimum of d4. Now to determine who's going to be attacking first, um, it's always the person who attacked last when you're using the same die type. So. That means that, unfortunately, I will be losing to... Well, I, I'm going to suffer that Spartan's ability. So I'd flip over this card, and normally my result would be a 2. However, the Spartan's ability says, if you attack first, your opponent gets a result of the next lowest die. So I'd actually be looking at my d8. And so it's there, 7 against my 4, which means 
Dicey has taken me down again. Dicey is a master at this game. So we're down to three cards each. I must choose mine. Um, down to the nitty gritty. I'm going to pick Diante the Great. And they're going to reveal their card. They've got an 11 on the D12, which means Dval is definitely going to be attacking. I get to look at the top two cards of the deck, choose one to draw, and choose one to put on top. Now, I know that I can't possibly beat an 11 minus 3 on my own die, so it makes sense for me to choose a card. I could still pick this one, even though I'm not going to win with it, and have my opponent suffer with this one, because if I give my opponent this one, that actually doesn't matter too much. Either way, they're going to get a... I know that my opponent's going to have quad next turn at a max value of 4, so that's unfortunate. So I'm going to take that, put that on top, and 12 is victorious yet again. Wham! Second last round. I know that my opponent's going to get a 4, and they're going to end up choosing quad, so how could I possibly beat quad? Probably only with my own quad, so I'm going to pick quad as well. They are going to get the top card, then I'm going to take this card. It's a 4 and a 4. We, we tie this time when we both have a 4, so thankfully um, I finally got a victory point. And then finally we have Cubera. So what happens is they draw their card, I draw my card, and because they went first last time and we have the same die type, they're going to go first this time. And Cubera is always going to reroll and take the, the best value. The other card goes on the bottom of the deck. Yep. And then it's my turn. I'm up against a four. I only have a three, so I will reveal the top card, putting mine under the deck, and I have a six. So my Cubera has defeated Dicey's Cubera. Uh, so we've both used all six of our cards, uh, but there's still half a deck left. So what we do is reset, put all of our cards back. I'm Again, tight on room here, but I will just show you the top of my card since you can see Dicey's anyway. And we will continue on. So what do I want to fight with first? Let's say I'm going to go with Quad first. I'm going to be risky. Maybe I can draw a 4 and automatically win. And then, so Dicey reveals a card. The highest value is a 6, but there's a whole bunch of them. So what does Dicey do? They pick the lowest die value that has a 6 so that they're maximizing their roll. So Dicey becomes harder to beat that way because they have so much opportunity. So Dicey gets Cubera's 6. I draw my card. I have a 1. And then Cubera, if they don't have a 5 or a 6, they will re-roll. But sh she already has a 6, so she has defeated Quad. Good job, Cubera. Oh, this is not looking good for me. I'm going to work my way up, and maybe I can gain some cards at the end of the round. So I will choose Cubera. The opponent, Dicey, reveals a card, 7777. So the lowest value with the highest number is a D8. So they are going with Diante the Great. I went with Cubera, which means Diante goes first, uh, and they will always use the ability. So they will look at the top two cards and take the card with the highest value. They're tied, so it doesn't really matter which one. And then they will shuffle the other one back in the deck. Theirs doesn't go on top. So I cannot possibly beat a 7. I will reveal my top card. Um, I could put it on the bottom or put it on my card. Hmm. I guess I will just stick with that. And Dicey is victorious yet again. That's too bad. Oh, that was Diante. Okay. Round three. I'm just going to work my way up. I've got Diante. First, Dicey gets their card. Dicey has all ones, which means they're going to go with quad. I'm going to win this round no matter what. I can draw the top two cards though and choose one to put on top, knowing that this is going to set Dicey up. So I could set Dicey up with a tough number here, and that's what, exactly what I'm going to do. I'm Diante, so I will take the seven. Seven beats quads one, so I take these victory cards. And we've, I'm going to choose Spartan moving up the path. Um, we have the same three dice left, so this is actually working out kind of neat. But in this case, they're going to take the 13 because it's the highest value. Um, on the card. So Twent will be their card this turn. I'm attacking with Spartan because I already chose that before that was drawn. I should have known better. Um, so I will draw my card and because it's a d10 I have to re-roll. This goes on the bottom of the deck. Reveal. I have an 8. Twent has won. I played that very poorly. I knew that was going to be his draw and I didn't even do anything about it. Alright, my Spartan is used. Um, then I'm going to choose 12, 
And they are going to have a four for Spartan, which is higher than the two for Dwell. So they are a Spartan. I am Dwell, which means I don't have to lower my die type. I will. I only have a three though against their four, but they lose the d4 value according to Dwell's ability. So I have a three, and they have a four minus three is a one. So I'm actually victorious there. Twelve defeats Spartan. And for the final battle, we have 12 against Twent. Um, the opponent always goes first, so they have a 3. My Twent has a reroll. A reroll in this game, when it's a last card drawn, is actually a 0. So saving Twent for last, probably not the wisest decision, which means that 12 took me down. Kaboom. So, how does the score, the end of game scoring work? Well, I look at how many victory cards I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ouch. And if I have seven, and it's a deck of 24 cards, well, that just must mean my opponent has a lovely bunch of cards there. So, Dicey is victorious by far. I misplayed in a few different ways, uh, but that's also to show you that um, if you don't pick your dice right, you're probably going to lose against Mighty Dicey. And that's a solo game of a deck of dice, die in the dungeon, or die minions. Sorry, wrong game name there. Uh, that's how you play a solo game of die minions, and very similar to how you'd play a two-player game, with the exception that you would keep your hand hidden, and each turn you'd both reveal one at the same time. So hopefully that helps you clarify some of the game rules, and I look forward to hearing your feedback about Dominions when you get your copy, or if you print and play your own. Thank you for watching.